Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I just want to say that a lot of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. It would mean a lot to me if you guys subscribe to my channel. I'm still new and I'm going to be asking you guys a lot of questions as soon as I get my community tab opened. If you don't know what I mean, essentially I can create community posts which will allow me to interact with you guys better. So make sure you're one of those people who are subscribed to my channel and can vote in the polls. That's all I had to say. Enjoy the video and let's get my watch time up to 4,000 so that I can get monetized and actually buy the things you request me to buy. Today we're going to be talking about all of the things that I did to this keyboard. This is the RK61 and here's a quick overview. It's one of the best keyboards that you can buy today for around $60. It's wireless, hot swappable, it has RGB, and it comes with three switch varieties. Get around reds, blues, and browns. That's pretty much all you need to know about this keyboard for now. Sadly, this one isn't hot swappable since I decided to get it right before they changed the switches to hot swappable. But I guess this video is going to help those who don't have hot swappable switches. But if your switches are hot swappable, you can still do everything in this video. The first and easiest thing I did to my keyboard was add foam in between the bottom of the case and the PCB. Take off the four screws on the back, disconnect the battery if you have one, and pull out the big thing that has all the switches on it. Once you've done that, cut out the correct sizes of foam and shapes for the certain parts of the keyboard case, and hope that you didn't put too much. Once you close it up and you still see the port for the USB, it means you probably did something right. Foaming the keyboard helps reduce excess hollow noise, makes the keyboard more sturdy, and it makes it heavier. The next thing you can do to your keyboard is lube the stabilizers. These are the parts that are not the switches, but kind of look like the switches, and are just chilling there. The stabilizers have a metal wire or bar that can rattle. The easiest and best way to lube the stabilizers without taking them out is by applying a drop of lube in the place that I'm showing you now. Make sure you lift up the stem and then do it, and do the same on the other side. You can slide your paintbrush underneath to lube more of the stabilizer, and if you really wanted to, you could lift off the front of the stabilizer too, but that won't really do much. You'll notice a pretty dramatic difference before and after. Now we can move on to lubing the switches. This is a very tedious process if you decide to fully lube your switches by taking them out, but if you don't take them out, you can semi-lube them with a the push stem method. Essentially what you do is grab a brush and lube, push down on the stem, and rub the inner walls with the lube of choice. I'm not going to be using anything right here for demonstration purposes because I just lubed my switches and I don't want to over lube them. So just mess around, put a little bit more lube on some other switches than the rest, and see how you like it. You pretty much do this to all your switches, and I would recommend and using Crytox 205G0. The last thing I did to my keyboard was change the keycaps. A lot of you guys were wondering how I got these and where I got these. There are pretty much no black and white keycap sets out there right now, and the ones that are out there are like $100 from Drop. I'm gonna be starting my own keycap brand. They're gonna be Double Shot PBT keycaps, so I need you guys' input on what colors you want. A set of keycaps would probably sell for like $25, more or less depending on how much my supplier charges. The keycaps I have right now are a mix of mine and my brother's Royal Kledge keyboard keycaps. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. We already hit 1,000 subscribers this fast, which is just amazing. Thank you for the support. Bye.